Today we're gonna talk about pre-like calendar. How to use it for all the new English tutors or any other tutors on pre-ply. You don't know how to set up your availability, how to get a student from other countries and what you have to do setting in order to get faster trial lessons and try to make them more regular. Let's talk about the calendar only today. I'm gonna help you with all settings if you're a new tutor on pre-ply. So you must have to watch this. As well as I have already got some comment based on uh, pre-ply calendar they said is it possible to do any setting on pre-ply calendar in order to get students from USA or Canadian countries like that do we really need to set time zone from those countries to get students or not well the answer is no you cannot really set up if you're living in Pakistan you cannot set up some Canadian or American time zone to get a student from them right better to add your own time zone uh, that it will be helpful for you to not get confused when is the lesson booked. Beside, I already explained all things in this video. Let's try to start this video and try to do all settings how we have to do this. All right. Just before we begin, I'm gonna say that I always prepare, uh, always present all the videos based on your comment. Feel free to comment below what do you have problem on your pre-play account. I would like to try to create a video for you. If you could see it, here are some options. Uh, the first option is schedule and second at time. Let me show you all of them. Uh, based on this person's answer, you're going to go to this setup availability. Once you're going to click the setup availability, you are going to uh, redirect to another page. And after clicking that button, you may see such options. You can see uh, lesson booking, calendar setting, and uh, Google. Simply, you have to click this in order to set up. So, for example, I have availability here. So, this is blank. I'm gonna show you here and not blank. If you wanna add any one hour, two hour, three hour, you can just try to put this and it will automatically edit. If you wanna delete it, simply click once and try to delete. If you wanna have more, so you are going to first of all uh, click this button and hold this button and try to draw down, right? So, as long as you do dot that automatically gonna be here so now I did three of them simply you're gonna slightly and delete it right that's it that happened now if you're going to block this hour if this is in your available you want to block it simply you have to go back to do that I'm gonna show you later but now moving to this lesson booking windows these are very really important to have in order to get trial lesson I suggest you to have at least one hour notice to get faster students if you want to have more. It means they are showing you this option when you say at least one hour notice. This means a student can be able to book within one hour. If you have next one hour free, they'll be able to book it. If you go for three, five, six, one day, two days. So definitely student can be able to book trial lesson after two days, after one day, after 20 hours. They cannot book between one hour, right? So this is first thing right second regular hours so regular lesson you have with the students they will be able to book it within a two hour of the notice so two hour advance or uh, they have after two hour for example now here is uh, almost 12 so a student can be able to book it after two o'clock right so that's what we use here two hours you can add as many as you are right this is booking window a student how long a student can book in advance so i have selected two hours that's better for you now moving another question for one of the students uh, is having with calendar setting. Remember it's a time zone. Here is this option you can see this is uh, the students was asking me uh, this student that if I want to get a student from USA Canada do I need to set any other or is there any differences of time zone between Pakistan and this country? Definitely they have huge differences of time zones right but you have to select the same as Pakistan. If you're from Islamabad, you may have Islamabad things you can see. But here I have selected Karachi, it's best suitable according to my place because I live near the city. And you have to simply save it. But definitely whenever you go to another country, it may automatically maybe uh, choose. Yeah. Otherwise you can try to choose. There is also clearly written choose your current time zone to avoid time zone confusion with your students. Customize calendars. That's the calendar setting. You can connect your calendar. My calendar is already attached and 
I did not add holidays, I did not add birthdays, I did not allow calendar to book my, uh, or block my availability. I suggest you to turn off them if you don't want that calendar automatically block your things. So delete these all, you know, I have unselected for that. That's it what you have to do, an email you must have to click and properly schedule, okay, or select. If you want to disconnect, you can disconnect, but I don't really need to disconnect, that's it, it's okay. This happened, this happened, now we are going to back to availability. Uh, moving to simply click this button, calendar. And now I'm gonna show you more. For example, this. You're going to, suppose you're going to block this over. You have to simply click this button. And now you're going to select this time off. And you simply select time off. This is going to be blocked. So simply if you want to block, you have to simply add time off. When you click add time off, you have to add the time. Otherwise, you, when you have directly, when you select this, like, and they will show you time off. And simply you can select time off it will become yellow right now what else eight extra hours for example these blacks are not in my availability my availability is until white right also i have a uh, different this is midnight i want to open more in midnight is extra hours so i will click this right and i will add as extra hours so you cannot get uh, in the past so it's past i'm talking so I have to select next week, for example, here. Now I want to edit here as extra hour. I have selected this and edit. Now this become open. So this is not going to be repeated to the next Wednesday. You can see next is not repeated. It's only this weekend. If you want to open just for temporary this weekend, then you can use extra hour. For removing, you have to simply click this, try to click this, and try to close this. Yeah, you want to delete extra. Yeah. That's it. Delete, delete it. That's all. Uh, I already taught you this, 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 and the scheduling lesson. Whenever you click to schedule, and you can select your student from here to search, and single hour or weekly hour, and select your standard 50 minute, one hour, two hour. You know, these are standards 25. And simply reschedule. That's it. So this is all calendar setting. If you can see this, any student they have question, we do that. If you want to see an agenda way, so they will show you an agenda in a one line. When you say week, it will show you like one by one. When you click today, it will take you to the today one, right? So I don't want to show you more students' name for privacy. Remember, there's one more thing in availability. Whenever you have this green, it means a student is a trial lesson. You cannot be paid. Single lesson, it means a student can able to book single lessons whenever they want. But weekly, it will be automatically scheduled, right? If somebody is booking here for 22, this 22 will be booked, you know? This 22 will be booked automatically next week. That will be this. But talking about this time off, time off like as I show you this, already showed you. This will be blocked and you're not able to book it right and google calendar will show you this color which means they are day off and when you have this button clicked on this somebody's like i can show you also one of them here you can see they are it means they are already paid when you have this it means they are not paid which will be something like this instead of instead of this if you can see that so I'm sure we are clear with the setting of calendar today. Any questions you have more with calendar, feel free to tell me. Next time we will go through more one by one. That's it. Then see you again.